Hello everybody, I'm back today with my third video in the uh, my discussion about the post-divorce existence. Um, today I wanted to kind of talk a little bit more about friendships. Um, you know, last time I talked about three types of friendship and uh, today uh, I wanted to actually talk about the idea that in a sense divorce helps clarify the friendships that are around you much like Facebook contacts that you collect on the uh, on, on Facebook um, you know you get overburdened with people who are not necessarily your friends and um, in a sense divorce is a chance even though it's a terrible thing it's a chance to it's a terrible process I should say um, is a chance to actually thin out your contact list and as much as you know as awful that may sound you know the reality is is that some people have you know 500 Facebook friends but how many of those people really are your friends and I, so I guess what I'm saying is that you know it's always a good time to kind of surround your people with surround yourself with people that not primarily support your worldview but actually show some interest in you and and care about you and um and i think that's that's why this is actually a good time to kind of think about those things um and, and many times it's it's not just you obviously you know saying goodbye to friendships like you're, you're ending the friendships many times those friendships as i discussed in the previous video will end for you those people will make a decision much like a judge jury an executioner a lot of people will just end up like making their decision based upon uh limited information and uh judging you and then walking away so in a sense like do you really miss those people i mean of course i missed those people initially but then when i realized that those people obviously are so judgmental it basically what's the point of having them in my life to begin with you know so you know they help you along in that process so while it's a difficult process to 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 mourn the loss of friendships not all of the friendships will you end up mourning you'll end up feeling better you'll feel lighter because you won't have be under the illusion that these people that are on you know you're connected to you are actually you know just sitting there laying and waiting to kind of like pounce on you the reality is is it helps you to get rid of some of the people who actually never believed in you and or you know wanted to like you know be non-judgmental you know in your life and 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 that's kind of really what you need you need people that are like non-judgmental that people that are gonna you know give you a fair estimation but like not just simply walk away when the when the when the going gets tough and and the going gets tough for everybody when it comes to divorce it's not just the people who are involved in it like a husband and wife that are like splitting up it is everybody in the divorce and it's the friendships and all that kind of stuff and so the friendship circle is getting destroyed and people can feel that and uh they're desperately in some ways trying to hold on to something um and trying to make sense of it all because they're hearing just bits and pieces of information from both parties and they're trying to figure out who they believe in some in some senses of the game not everybody's like that but i mean there's a fair enough fair amount of people that i've come across that really are like you know have based such limited information based their, their judgments on such limited information and also i mean you know many times you know divorce in a sense is also like a car car crash for some people not for the people that are in it i mean yes for the people that are in it but for the people who are observing um many times you'll find there are a lot of people who just simply are focusing on your pain not necessarily to be there to help you but because it's the spectacle of this that is kind of almost like watching a a movie and and as they watch this movie it's, it's interesting for them to see how it unfolds and it's also a diversion for them from their own 
uh, existence, whether that be, you know, a, a marriage that they're stuck in and it could be something that they may then learn from and may end up moving them towards divorce or rectifying problems in their relationship. Regardless, um, there are some people who definitely treat it as kind of a, as a car crash and I just feed off of every little salacious bit of information if the, you know that's that's fed out there and, and and rumor mills and all this kind of stuff about what what really went what really happened or all this kind of stuff and so i think that the the better you are and i'm speaking to guys here because guys seem to sometimes get short shrift when it comes to divorce there seems to be a default um kind of in society that the guys are always the ones who are the uh, they they cheated on somebody or or whatnot there's a lot of like uh you must have done something wrong i heard that a, a lot of times from people in china you must have done something wrong and i heard that from somebody here in new york new york city area a chinese friend of mine who you know just was like you know i don't understand i don't understand what did you do you know and i was just thinking to myself well, well, well how do you know it's just what did i do you know it's like what did we do you know people just tend to sit there and like s s summarily judge you know men especially in this situation and you know you can feel free to disagree with me but you know i'm talking from my own experience and for those of you who haven't experienced divorce and hey i hope you never do um you know you can feel free to judge me then but you know until you've walked that that in those shoes you know you're you're really not going to understand what this is like because sometimes it feels like the whole world is against you and even though it's not it's just it's it, it will feel that way so anyway you know you have to prepare yourself for the dissolution of all these friendships and the, the inevitability of that your contact list with people is going to end up getting shorter and uh many times it's um they're doing you a favor. They're doing you a favor because, you know, it's not every single friend out there that's gonna like be with you through thick and thin. And clarity, having people in your life that that help you, that care about you, that are non-judgmental, are is incredibly important. And you find those types of people in situations like this. And so. It's my hope that, you know, I can kind of give this information to somebody out there who will eventually be able to use that and hear that because sometimes it can seem really rather bleak uh, when you're in the throes of, of, of realizing that there's people aren't calling you, people aren't messaging you. And, um, and yes, you know, um, you know, there's a lot of excuses out there for why people don't contact you. They don't know what to say. They're, they're busy. Uh, and that's fine, and, and and it's not as if like you know you know that every single person who doesn't contact you is 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 an asshole, <laughs> but the reality is is that uh, you will you will get a sense because you know you've established patterns with these people, and when they drop off the face of the earth, uh, more often than not, uh, they're casting judgment on you in some way, and um, that's that. So. Anyway, it's a short video. I just wanted to relay that information to, to you all out there. And uh, if you have any um, questions or concerns or leave any comments, please do so down below. And uh, please feel free to share the video with somebody who you know is going through divorce, especially a guy. Uh, because I am talking from a male perspective. I mean, some of the stuff that I say does apply to both men and women. And I think some of the stuff I said tonight does. Uh, but certainly, um, please f feel free to share it and, uh, and let me know what you think. All right, everyone take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.